everyone, my name is Melissa Strange and welcome to another episode of For the Love of Drag. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new internet show, The Boulet Brothers Dragula, the search for the world's first super monster. The show is airing every other Monday on Hey Queen TV, the YouTube channel, the website, and all of that, and it started on Halloween. To me the show looks like a hybrid between a show or a ball mixed with RuPaul's Drag Race with a giant bag of fear factor added on top of it and also Halloween nights and also haunted houses. That's That was what the show has so far given me. Anything kind of creepy, cemetery, uh, insane asylum, any of that kind of thing you can think of, that is what the show is trying to basically embody with drag. The breakdown of the show is that first the queens have to do a floor show where they're given a specific task for the week, a look to create, they come out, they do a little dance, act out their kind of persona that they are trying to create, and then the next part of the show is they are then uh, judged, critiqued into the tops and the bottoms, and then the bottom queens of the week will then compete in an extermination challenge, which are challenges that no drag queen has ever had to compete in before. So it's just a crazy thing that proves that you have the nerve and the, the horror, glamour, punk attitude that you can do anything and you're not scared of these little creepy weird challenges and you can step it up and you can prove that you want to be in this competition. And then the show ends with one queen going home. There have been two episodes of Dragula so far and this video is going to cover the first two episodes in a not so uh, intense way. We're still kind of learning who a lot of these queens are, adding them on Instagram, seeing what's up. So the third episode and onward I'm going to do an actual video based only on that episode getting a little bit deeper into the looks of each queen. But this one I'm going to tell you what I liked about each episode as of right now. So in the first episode the queens were challenged to give their wickedest witch looks and then also perform a tragic scene in which the wicked witch is killed. And I was stunned by the looks. Let me tell you, these queens brought it. They are so talented. There were only a couple that I didn't really like, but my favorite looks of this show go to Vander Von Odd, Loris, Ursula Major, and Zochi Moji. The Boulet brothers didn't really love um, Ursula's look, but she was safe. Uh, Vander Von Odd won that look of the week. They don't actually win something, but you're told that you have the best look of the week. That's winning if there's no prize. And the bottom three queens were uh, Pinchy Queen, Loris, and uh, Meatball. And for the extermination challenge, girl, they went fear factor with it. They all got put into a coffin and then it was closed and then they poured dirt on top and then they inserted things like worms and crickets and um, I don't know what else, the random things, and then they had it like a simulated person peeing on them. It was just a bunch of water. I don't think somebody actually peed on them. I think that would be a little extreme, although we don't really see what's causing the water to go into the coffin, but you know, it was hilarious. And the rules were simple. They had to keep their hands by their sides and not touch anything. And uh, I think that uh, Pinche Queen didn't really speak English or something because immediately uh, hands were up, moving around, touching things, you know, going like this. So I think that is partially why in the end Pinchy Queen goes home, but also she was honestly the least entertaining out of the three of them in that box. At least the other two were kind of being funny. In episode number two, the queens are tasked to do an 80s wrestling look, and it was again everything. These queens had to create 80s wrestling personas, outfits, all that fun stuff, and then work the stage, and some of them had me laughing. By the sounds of the judges critique though, it sounds like a lot of the queens were just doing death drop after death drop after death drop of their special move, and they were kind of waiting for a queen to come out with a different move as a wrestling move instead of everyone's special move being death drops. Although a wrestling show where the only thing the queens do is death drop would be hilarious. My three favorite looks of the week go to Meatball, Loris, and Vander Von Odd. And the winner of the week is Loris. But this week there is a bottom four and that is Zochi Mochi, Ursula Major, Frankie Doom, and Melissa B. Fierce. And this week their extermination challenge has them mud wrestling. And I'm dying. So good. 
But the first match, which I believe was uh, Frankie Doom versus Ursula, if I remember correctly, was kind of boring. I didn't find it as entertaining as the second match, which was the Zochi Mochi versus Melissa B. Fierce match. That one I thought was hilarious, but the first one was kind of a snooze fest, which maybe is why it resulted in Ursula Major being exterminated for the week. And so far, honestly, Ursula was the one of the queens that I liked the most out of the season so far, so I was kind of bummed to see that happen, but this show is really, really good. Like stupid good. Who thinks of these things? It's great. Another really cool thing about this show is that for the grand prize, the queens that get, you know, like the title or like a trophy or something, but for a cash prize, because it's like an internet show, they don't, they don't have like sponsors paying the grand prize. Like that's where grand prize money comes from. It's the sponsors of the show. So what they did instead was they set up an Indiegogo campaign in which you can donate or tip your queens and then the winner will get the prize money. The cap is $10,000, but then there's gonna be a fan favorite as well, so they can get up to $3,000 if it goes past 10,000, if it goes to 13,000. But if the total goes past 13,000, the remainder of that money goes to production costs. So it's actually pretty cool that they kind of have, you know, us fans of the show paying or tipping our queens that we liked. And if you look at it like this, if you really liked the queens and you saw it live, you're gonna tip them like five, ten bucks. I don't know, in Canada, the smallest bill we have is five dollars. So when you go to a drag show, the minimum tips you're handing up is five dollars. I've seen people hand up loonies and toonies, and I don't understand how you're gonna hand them a coin. Where you want them to put the coin? Where should they put their coin? Should they come up with a coin purse? Like, if I was a drag queen, and I, I like, I'm from Canada, you gotta bring a coin purse on stage for your coin tips? No. So if every other week you tipped five or ten dollars, or even just once, I think that they could reach the ten thousand dollar goal pretty quickly. I mean, if everyone who watched the show tipped even a dollar towards this Indiegogo campaign, they'd already be at like eighty thousand dollars or something for sure. So, you know, if just a handful of us tipped five or ten bucks, then they would hit it, and the queen who wins would win ten thousand dollars. Because I think that's that seems fair. Like, do you know how much that costs them to do these crazy looks every week? Like in that first episode, they had one look, they took the thing off their head and showed us, and then the look was gone. Like, then they washed it off and did the next look. Like, that's a lot of money and time and thought and energy put into a look that lasted 30 seconds of a web series show. So let me know in the comments down below, everyone, who you're rooting for so far. My favorites were Ur Ursula Major, who's already gone, uh, Loris, and Vander Von Odd. Those three are my favorites as of right now. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorites are, because I'd love to know, and let me know your thoughts on the show so far. I am looking forward to the next one, and I promise that that one we are going to get in and talk about each person's look, and I am stoked for that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that when I post that video, you don't miss it. And I'll bring up a comment from one of you guys who comments on this video in the next one. And we'll talk about your comment, about your favorites or what you thought so far about the show. See how that works. Don't forget to hit the like button. Once again, everyone, my name is Melissa Strange, and until next time, stay strange.